Hi, my name is Andrew Omrod and welcome to CPDME, the mobile app. I am so excited to show you these functionality and features that are within our new app and it is such a privilege for me to sit here and say that we are now 11 years old today on the 3rd of November 2009 is when CPDME was built and today we are 11 years old so it's quite a significant day for us and we are proud to say that we are stronger than ever uh, despite this terrible pandemic that is currently around us so the cpd me mobile app we have now got it on iphone android tablet and ipad which makes it fabulous for all those people out there who've waited a significant amount of time for a really good android version so very quickly i'm going to go through the two sections this is the app. You download it from the app store. You simply search for CPD Me or CPD Portfolio Building App and it should find us easily and simply. If you are a member and you have never used this app before, it is the same login details as your dashboard. So the same login details as when you go to cpdme.com, use your email and your password. If you have forgot it, it is as simple as clicking a forgotten password. You pop in your email address into the password, into the email field and click on send reset link and it will send you a link straight away. And as you can see, by the time I click on to OK and I close down the app and I go to my email within the top of my email, when I do a refresh, you will see that that email is there just waiting for me to open it up and to do a password reset. Once I've clicked on the password reset, I can click onto something that's actually really simple and straightforward, and then that will allow me access to the app. So I'm gonna choose my own password because it's gonna pester me to use a really complicated one otherwise. Okay, once you've reset password, you will get an update to say your password has been changed successfully, and then you can simply go back to the app. Once you go back to the app, you simply then can put your email address in there, and then you can type in your password and then you can simply log into the app and the app will sync perfectly with your CPD dashboard. Okay, I've showed you that system. I'm now gonna log out and I'm gonna show you how you would register as a new member. So if you've never used the app before, you simply need to click the sign up option. And once you click the sign up option, it's gonna ask you for a few details, your first name, your last name, your email address and such. Once you've selected your um, nickname and your terms and conditions you simply click on the sign up option and then it will send you a verification email once you've clicked on that verification email you can simply log back in using your email address and your chosen password and then you'll have full access to the app not only will you have full access to the app that you will also have full access to the dashboard which means when you visit cpdme.com you can also access your online dashboard or you can also access the online dashboard, which will make building and maintaining your CPD portfolio simple. Okay, so let's have a look at the front of the app. The front of the app we describe as the mobile app dashboard, and it literally tells you good afternoon, good morning, good evening, wherever you are. And it also tells you whether you have logged any CPD that month, any hours, any entries, and any reflections. And as you can see, it's only the 3rd of November, and I haven't documented any entries for them dates. If you scroll to the right, you can see that I've done over the year 30 hours, 50 entries, 50 diary entries, and no reflections. And then if you go over lifetime, you can see that I've done 729 hours and such. So you can see very succinctly on the dashboard what you've done. You can also see your entries over 12 months. And this graph is really good because it almost gives you a sense of a CPD health check. What that means in short is that the dark purple color at the top of the graph means the total entries that are complete. That means that you've filled in all the fields, you've either attached some evidence and that it's a fully completed and all-rounded CPD entry. The ones that are partially complete, which are the um, almost royal blue, are the ones that might need some work, work doing on them. For example, they might need some hours putting in there or they might need a date putting in there or something else. The ones that are light blue are incomplete, which means you've either quickly captured some evidence or you just need to go in there and do some work. But very quickly, you can see that a little bit of work is required on my portfolio over the last 12 months to make it all substantially dark blue. 
as I scroll down, I can then see my statistics. And again, this is just looking at this month, but if I look at this year, you can see that my top CPD categories are expanding my role, followed by CPD events, video lectures, webinars, lecturing, teaching and knowledge and skills framework so you can see that I've taken part in quite a wide variety of learning and development opportunities and then activity types is what I've done so myself in my job role myself in my own time myself as a mentor and myself as a student so you can see where I'm spending time taking part in my learning and development this great new feature allows you to simply jump onto one of our webinars simply by clicking which you want to join and which you don't. And you can see the ones that are highlighted green are the ones that I've already registered. So you can see that if I click into the maternal blood pressure on the 5th of November, it tells me that I'm already registered for that event. If I click into the one on the 2nd of December, you can see that now it gives me an option to quickly click and register. And if I click that, it'll very tell me that I'm registered and then I'll get a registration email to confirm that. And also I'll get a prompt reminder. And as you can see on the screen, it is now turned green. While you're on the seat up and coming webinars, if you click onto the little events tab, we have some great new features coming there shortly. So just keep an eye on that events tab because we have some fabulous learning and development opportunities for our CPD community on that tab. Okay, so back to the front of the dashboard. At the top left-hand side, where you can see my icon, if you click on that icon, you can go in there and you can do several things. One of the great functionality and features of this app is you can do what's known as a dashboard authenticator. To edit profile, you literally just click into edit profile and that allows you to change your name, your professional registration, what job title you are and also your nickname and I'll tell you a little bit more about why you need to input your nickname shortly. One of the other great features of here is you can contact our support and you have three options. You can either phone us, join the frequently asked questions and see what some of the answers are to some of the common questions we get asked or you can click on the contact center and that will come straight through to someone who will be able to support you with your questions and then you have the logout version below. Below that is the version and the terms, and we might just need that, have you have some issues or some problems with the app, and we need to do some troubleshooting. So back to the dashboard, I'm gonna show you how to capture CPD and how to capture evidence very quickly. Okay, and I'm gonna show you the feature that I really now like around this new mobile app. And that feature is literally click on the little cross in the middle and click on the camera icon. Once you've clicked on the camera icon, you can then click on to add and you have options of document scanner, camera, gallery, voice recording or files. Now for the purpose of this, I'm going to use a document scanner and I'm currently just reading a, a, a book around critical thinking skills. And I'm going to click on the document scanner and I'm going to show you what happens. So as I hover my camera over this book, it's going to try and capture the page perfectly. So you can see... As I move it around, it tries to capture what I'm viewing perfectly. And this is really, really good. For example, when you're trying to capture a bulletin or a document, and you can see there that it's perfectly squared off in the corners. And if it hasn't perfectly squared off, you can grab the corners and you can make it perfect. And as you can see there, despite the book not being on a level surface and being all over the place, it's captured it really well. And if I click on to done, and I can put on there identifying the argument, and I can capture and I can save that CPD. That will then simply upload to my files area and then I can either later add that to a diary entry or I can come back and put it into a reflection whenever I need to. Click on to done and OK. Once I've captured the evidence, to review that evidence back, I simply click back onto the plus icon, click back into the camera icon, and you can see at the top there, identifying the argument, and that is where the entry will be stored. I can then add that entry to a diary entry at some point in the future, or I can leave it there, and I can ensure that it's somewhere safe, so that when I need to recall on it, I can either print it or attach it to my portfolio at any given point in time. Okay, CPD entries. On the bottom of the screen, you can see I've got dashboard, entries, events, and CPD. If I click onto the entries option, you can see a list of all of my CPD that I have ever done. And trust me, there is a plethora of amounts on there. The fabulous functionality and features of this is it is really easy and simple to use. 
you can see at the left hand side it's a diary entry you can see the title of the entry which is clinical examination crash course abdominal examination presented by dr chris jeffries you can see the date that that event took place and at the right hand side this smart little functionality and feature tells me number one the amount of hours that i've taken part in that learning and i'll show you how to edit that in a second you can see the percentage of completion so that means how many fields i've completed and you can also see the color which is either red amber or green green simply indicates that you've completed all the fields amber indicates that there's more fields to complete and red indicates maybe that there's simply just a date in there and some evidence so if i click into that option and i click and click on to edit and then I'm going to modify this diary entry. So this webinar actually took place for one hour. But what I did following the webinar was did some self-directed learning. So I'm going to put in there two hours in total. There wasn't an end date. The, the event was simply just on Thursday, October the 22nd. And then I've got an option to save and continue and save and exit. I'm going to save and continue. My governing body is the HCPC because I'm a registered paramedic. I'm going to click on to save and continue and then it's going to ask me this development activity has benefited me because now what this is asking me now is um, what have I done what have I learned and how is it going to influence the change in my practice and my service users so this is where I can reflect upon my learning so I'm going to put in there to follow and I will follow that up and ensure that I complete some of that documentation to support what I've learned in relation to allowing the HCPC to recognize my continuing professional development. Click on to save and continue. It's then going to ask me to select my HCPC standards, save and continue. And then you can see there that there's a link to watch the webinar. If I need a reminder for that event, I can click onto that option. You can see there that there is an attached certificate uh, from the uh, attending the live event. And I'm going to click on to save and submit. And click on to OK. Now that should go back now to my clinical examination entries. And you can see there that it's now telling me that I'm 77% complete because I've still got some more fields to complete. For example, where I put in to follow. But you can see now that it's documented two hours of CPD. And I've also increased it up to 70% percentage. Now, one of the variations of our system compared to others out there is that the system will generate you a health report and that CPD health report will tell you exactly what status all your entries are in within a period of time, which means you can spend just a few hours bringing them all up to date and ensuring that your portfolio is always fit for practice. One of the other great features I like about the entries is the ability for you to search and filter the entries by diary, reflection, all of the entries, complete entries partially complete entries or incomplete entries and this will allow you to quickly identify entries that aren't fully complete and bring them right up to date in the events tab is almost like your personal cpd calendar and what you can see on there is any webinars that are available any webinars that you've registered for any planned cpd which means cpd that you've planned for attending in the future any cpd entries that you've made via diary and reflection any events that are available and also any events that you've registered so if i can quickly see on screen there that i have a webinar coming up for maternal blood pressure and you can see that it's got a banner which is red and that tells me that it's a registered webinar and then i've got a webinar underneath which is a webinar from dr mike davis and you can see that i haven't yet registered for that webinar because it's highlighted in green and available for me and as i scroll down you can see some of the other things that i've complicated completed over that period of time you can also as you scroll back through the months or the years see what you've done and when and that will identify there in the color coded system you can also go back via year so you can see there back in um, year format back in 2018 uh, what i did and what i wrote about at them particular points in time so that's another great feature on the events and again it allows you to take charge of your cpd the next great feature is the CPD option. And when you click onto the CPD option, there is two different sections. There's a the shared area. And this shared area, again, is what makes CPDME stand out from some of the other providers out there because we allow people to share some of the free and open access medical and learning information that's available on Twitter and social media and such. So as you find something that's really useful, you can share it on your dashboard and that will then be allowed to be shared on this public platform. And you can see there 
you can scroll up and down and you can see the little thumbs up at the side that shows how people have appreciated that specific learning event and if i click onto the little icon that allows me to click on now the newest or the most helpful that will then filter some of the events that are available for you to click on and have a look at and then the other side at the top you have the videos option that allows you to search all of our previous CPD webinars and some of the trauma care videos and learning and development opportunities and allows you to quickly click on those and have a look at what is going on from a learning and development perspective so that is a quick whistle tops tour over our new app the app is available on the android or iphone device simply just search for cpd me or cpd portfolio builder and you should be able to find that quite simply but if you have any questions please do pop it into the question box and we will be more than happy to answer them for you i'm now going to hand you back over to the lovely dominie